you very much. Okay, last one. I gave myself the challenge of doing this in three minutes. I'm going to be setting myself up for failure, but we'll see. My name is Nathan Banks, and I'm a principal on the climate adaptation team at pg and &E. This is a three-person team, but do not let the size of the team fool you because we're really the catalyst supporting the key lines of business and helping them integrate climate into everything they do on, with our generation infrastructure, with our transmission on the electric side, distribution on the electric side, and then the same on the gas side of the house. Um, just really quickly, actually, out of curiosity, how many folks are here today from a business? Awesome. Glad to see you. And, and let's keep doing more of that. <laughs> we obviously have a huge role to play, pg and &E in particular. Um, you know, what we really try to be is a translator of all of California's really rich, exciting climate data. There's really, really good resources in this state. Um, and our engineers are really good at managing our infrastructure. But we need to be the ones to help empower them with that climate information to make sure that they're planning in a climate smart way for the future. So one of the ways that we're you know, teaching a man to fish is by developing a set of tools um, that essentially will allow them to do the kind of cli climate adaptation analysis that we think they should be doing on every project. Um, most relevant for today is our climate impact visualization tool. This essentially pulls all of the climate impact data that's available in the CALADAP tool and overlays our infrastructure on that tool. So we can literally see what the climate impacts are expected for for 2030 and 2050 and right where our infrastructure is. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, and so that you're aware, our priority climate impacts are sea level rise, extreme heat, extreme storms, wildfire, subsidence, and drought. Those are the six things that we're most worried about. Um, so. Uh, the climate impact visualization tool is relevant today because we began piloting it and uh, one of the early use cases has to do with the electric transmission line asset bay waters project many of you probably are very aware of the transmission towers that line the bay in this part of the bay um, it's critical infrastructure it's long-lived it serves uh, it serves san francisco and silicon valley and every community in between so it's really critical infrastructure and these towers are old and they need to be replaced so the engineers, like I said, they're really smart folks, and they came to us and they said, you know, we think we probably need to build these higher. I mean, this infrastructure is around for the better part of a century. We understand that climate change is an issue, but we don't really know what exactly we should do, what's out there. And we said, great, we are designed to help you with exactly this problem. So we went ahead and we applied the climate visualization tool to, um, to their assets. We did a map uh, of where sea level rise was expected to be greatest. Uh, and then we also layered in some of the other factors, like waves. We used a 500-year flood um, threshold as well. And we stacked it all up to make sure that we had the right height um, of expected impacts. And that was 9.8. Now, I want to say that that is the 87th percentile expected impact. And so um, we took a look at the state's sea level rise guidance, the H++ scenario, which is the 99th percentile. And we thought about how important this infrastructure is. I mean, it really is the electric backbone for all of the Bay Area. And so we said, let's do that. So we went ahead and said, let's go for the 10 and a half, and, 10 and a half feet. And that was incorporated into the design. So as this project rolls out over the next 10 years, it's a lot of towers over a long time, that'll be incorporated. And I just, I really like this project because one, it's a very practical application of information we have today to make uh, the electric system smarter and make sure that it's gonna continue to provide you energy in the face of climate change. Um, and I also like it because uh, it helps communicate the importance of doing this kind of work, both to our regulator, who approves funding for the kind of project like this. Uh, we'll have to ask for slightly more money to raise these towers, but I think we can agree it's worth it to keep the lights on in the Bay Area. And then the last thing I'll say is just, um, for those of you in the room who are either staff or leadership at many of the cities and counties and other jurisdictions here, thank you. You know, we benefit and we can serve you better when you already have done the hard work of making a plan for your community. So keep it up and reach out to us. Um, we want to help you and, and you can help us too. So thank you very much.